Hi, I'm Shabani Shah, the Head of Programmes for the Patients Association. Hello, I'm Sarah Tilsed, and I'm the Head of Patient Partnership at the Patients Association. We have developed a series of short videos to tell you about patient participation groups. Hi, Sarah. You're going to tell us how to build a PPG. Yes, to build or revitalise one that's perhaps not met for a while because of COVID-19. As we've said in earlier videos, you're aiming to make the PPG as representative as you can of the local community and ensure there are a range of members from different backgrounds. That means you need to think of different ways to recruit. So don't just limit yourself to using the practices website. Remember that not everybody has access to the internet. So if you're not going to use the internet or you don't have access, what should you do? Well, it is fine to use the internet, but just don't let that be the only thing you use. You could talk to your local health watch, as they know local community groups you could ask to share any recruitment ads. Think about local community notice boards or newspapers. See if the local council will share the recruitment ad in any of its newsletters. And don't forget to make sure the chance to join the PPG is prominently advertised in the practice. That's great. Any other ideas? Well, you could hold an open meeting for people who might be interested in joining so that they can learn more about what being a member of the PPG involves. You could invite the chair of a neighbour and PPG to explain how their PPG works and the opportunity it gives for patients. Have a member of the practice's staff talk about the benefits that the PPG will bring to the practice. Okay, so we've advertised the PPG and have people who are interested in joining. What should we do next? Well, you need to think about structure. Remember I said every successful PPG has a chair, a secretary, someone to organise the meetings, someone to keep practice staff up to date, someone to bring those biscuits. I remember the biscuits. Well, when you get to the stage of discussing snacks, then you're definitely ready to pull together a small organising committee to get the PPG off the ground. This committee can decide on the frequency of meetings and where you'll meet. It's important in this early stage to have one of the GPs or a member of administrative staff on the PPG. It's possible that the practice has a rota of who will attend the PPG given the pressure the practices are under. That's great. Thanks so much, Sarah. What are we going to talk about next time? Next time I'm going to run through the first meeting.